Hey guys, Jeffrey from Headstrong Training Systems here. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the squat, and in particular, we're gonna be talking about the timing of the lean that occurs with the torso, and I'm also gonna talk about some common errors that I see associated with the timing of that lean. So when we get right into it, basically, in any squat movement that needs to happen, unless you're squatting like in a front squat position, or where you have that weight in front of you, or if you're like, you know, the top Olympic lifters in the world, where you're able to maintain a super upright torso because that's where the center mass is going through. But for most people, and in most cases of squats, especially shifting towards more um, hip dominant squats, so more like the low bar squat, where that center mass is shifted further down the back, in every single one of those squats, you're gonna, you're gonna see an element of lean occurring in the torso. Quite simply because it's virtually impossible for you to maintain a complete upright torso because that center of mass, will, that barbell will literally fall off your back. And so why that lean needs to occur is that lean occurs to keep that center mass of that barbell across the center mass of your body and in line with your midfoot. So that's why there will always be an element of lean occurring. Now, when we talk about the timing of the lean, we're talking, I, I wanna make clear that the time of the lean, the lean should occur at the initial break. The, the lean should occur either before the movement, but that's something that I'll, I can go into in another video, but it can work for some people and I don't recommend it for other people. But essentially, you want the lean to occur at the initial break. So, so basically, you want the lean occurring either before or at the beginning of the descent, so at the initial break. You don't want to see that lean occurring halfway down. And the reason for that is because two, two main reasons. Firstly, essentially, you want the lean, the timing of the lean, timing at the initial break allows you to maintain that angle position. So, and so what I mean by that is say uh, your, your starting position, you're gonna break. So see how at that break, it's quite visible that there's a lean occurring with my torso, that lean occurs there. And so once that lean occurs, then you, you can maintain this angle as you squat down into position. What you don't want to see is you don't want to you don't want to see that lean occur halfway down because if the lean is occurring halfway down, it means that firstly, you're resisting the lean at the start. So you're trying to break in a very upright position, trying to stay upright as you break. And what that, what that leads to is extension in that back because the body can't stay upright. The, the lean is already occurring throughout the pelvis. So firstly, you're gonna cause extension in the back. And secondly, there's gonna be a bigger counter force. So there's gonna be a bigger correction halfway down. What I mean by that is you're trying to stay upright, stay upright, but then that lean will occur because essentially in order to get over your midfoot, your body has to lean and you can't fight it any longer. So you'll see that big dump occurring halfway down. So because of those two reasons, firstly, at the, um, if you're forcing upright at the start, you're gonna cause extension in your back. And secondly, um, they will lead most likely to a bigger overcorrection of dumping forward when you're halfway down. So because of those two reasons, you want to make sure that the timing of your lean is at the initial break. So at the initial break, and then from there, you want to maintain that angle. So break, see how my torso has leaned at the break. But then from here, you're maintaining this angle. The second, the biggest error that I see with people is that they then, continuously lean down, they then dump all the way down. But then you don't want to continuously have your torso angle going down because at the initial break, you've got it into your, your angle. This is your torso angle. From there, you just wanna drop and maintain this angle through your body instead of continuously dumping forward. And what that looks like with the Bible is say, people, they break at the lean, so they end at the break, they're going down, but then they're continuously dumping. You see how then I lean all the way down, the Bible even rolls up on me. So what you should be doing is, at the initial break, you've got that lean, so lean occurred, and then from here, I'm, this is the correct angle for me to be in, this is optimal for me, I'm just gonna maintain this angle through my squat. So that's all for me today, guys. Hopefully that was helpful for you, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.